Jill! Chris, where on earth have you been? Look, Jill, we must look for the others. I know, Chris. Let's get out of here. Okay, let's work together. We're partners, aren't we? Let's get going. Oh. See if you can find any other clues. Have you found anything interesting? A dining room. What? It seems that talking to myself is becoming a habit. Hello and welcome to Let's Play Part 3 of Resident Evil. And today, we are going to save Chris. In Part 2, he got bitten by a giant snake. Which, if you ask me, is rather careless. I can honestly say I've never been bitten by a giant snake in my entire life. But Chris, the special STARS member, managed to get himself poisoned. Ah, what an idiot. So it's up to Jill once again to go and save the day. I have some serum. He better appreciate it. All the stuff I do for him. And I don't know why I bother. I suppose I don't want him to die. Besides, I need Chris to help me solve all the puzzles in this mansion. I'm quite sure he's made himself useful so far. Hi, Richard. Richard's dead. Okay, Chris, I've got the... Where's he gone? Huh. What's this? I guess Chris dropped it. Well, it's mine now. And we've got the moon crest. Okie dokie. But what am I going to do with this serum? Ah, oh, great. Well, that was a waste of time. Where could Chris be? Okay, I'm going now. Bye, Richard. I'm glad you haven't turned into a zombie, because that would be rubbish. Now where should I go? I guess I should go and find Chris. Barry! Jill! I was looking for you. Hey, are you alright? Barry, I... What happened? Barry? Where's Chris? Let's search for him separately. Okay. Maybe it's better to secure our escape route first. There must be a back door somewhere. Let's try to find it first, shall we? Okay. Let's separate again. Just a moment. I found something. What is it? It's a weapon. It's really powerful, especially against living things. Better take it with you. But how about you, Barry? I have this. Thank you. I'll take this then. Ooh, what are we going to get? You can't carry any more- What? It's a rocket launcher! Ah, typical! This is just my luck. <sighs> Bye, Barry. So, now we've got to go and look for Chris. I don't suppose he's gone far. Maybe he's gone... This way! Onto the balcony. Maybe he wanted some fresh air. Let's have a look. Um, Chris? No, just Forrest. Hi, Forrest. <sighs> oh, no. He's turned into a zombie. I didn't say you could do that. Of all the members of Stars, Forrest was possibly the one that I liked the best. Besides Barry, obviously. What an amazing bloke. Excellent chef, lovely singing voice. He glows in the dark. He's just a man of many talents. But I'm afraid it's time to die. I'm sorry, Forrest. <sighs> and Chris isn't here. Okay, well, there are still some new rooms to explore. Maybe I can see what to do with all these crests. Hey, it's Rebecca. The picture is entitled From Cradle to Grave. <laughs> What's that? Crows! picture of a newborn baby. There's a switch below. Let's push it. Hmm. What next? A picture of an infant. There's a switch below. Okay. A lively boy? That sounds right. Look at those crows. Judging everything I do. Stop it! A picture of a young man. I actually don't think I've ever seen what happens when you do this puzzle wrong. But over here, a picture of a tired middle-aged man. And there's a switch. Let's press it. And after you're done being middle-aged, you're ready to become a decrepit, senile old git. 
a picture of a bald looking old man. And finally, this picture is entitled The End of Life. And for our efforts, we have got the Star Crest. I have what I wanted. Let's get out of here. Hi, birds. Thanks for not trying to kill me. I mean, they killed Forrest. Maybe he was just rubbish at puzzles. If there's one thing that Rebecca loves, it's not being killed. All right, we've explored pretty much every single unlocked door in this entire mansion. The only thing left is this thing. When the sun sets in the west and the moon rises in the east, you're going to die. Oh, I'm going to die. Wait, what? Oh, wait. The gate of new life will open. I've placed the star crest. So now I can go through this door. Oh. All right, I suppose I need more crests. But I don't have them. Where are they? Ah. Now Jill has three crests. Bit selfish, if you ask me. But there's nothing more to do here, so we're going to go to the next section of the game. And there's nothing anyone can do to stop me, unless I get killed. I hope not. I hate being killed. Hey, the blood on that wall's disappeared. It must have been ghost blood. Now before I go to the next section, I'm going to go to my box and get stuff. It's always good to be organized. And besides, there's something I need to check. Botany book. Okay. Um blah 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 blah. blah. Um Okay, so you can heal using herbs? Really? Oh my god! We've got to try this! Why didn't anyone tell me? Okay, so we've got a green herb. A herb characterized by its greenness. Ah, uh, that's better. And that is why it's always good to read your files. Green herbs heal. Red herbs do not heal. Don't heal yourself with a red herb. Only silly people do that. So here we are, this is where Rebecca was before, and we have the remaining crests. I have to say, I'm really enjoying playing this again. This is my childhood game. I can never get tired of it. And to me, it still looks great. I mean, just look at it. It looks great even today. And oh, wait. What's going on here? Jill, you've gone into another dimension. <sighs> well, I can't say I'm surprised. It's the kind of attitude I've come to expect from someone like you. You're a wild card, Jill. This is Brad. Star's Alpha Team. Please respond. What the hell? Is nobody out there? Brad. This is Jill. Brad? This is Brad. Star's Alpha Team. Bravo Team. It doesn't matter. Oh, it's broken. Dang it. I know it's bad to speak of the dead, but stupid Richard, giving me a broken radio. Next time, I want something better. But there won't be a next time, because he is dead. Ooh, a puzzle. Ugh, a dog's bottom. No, I don't think I will press the switch. I'm not going to start pressing switches if dogs are going to bear their bottoms at me. Okay, what's this? Another one. Hopefully this one will do something better. Mm. Yes. And the gates have opened. I can hear the dogs in the background, howling. But I don't see any dogs. Maybe we can jump over this small fence and run away back to Raccoon City. Oh, hi birds. Are you friendly birds? They don't sound friendly. What was that? Oh no. We're walking into something horrible. This is terrible. 1996 Resident Evil would never do this to me. Ah, it's a scary tree. <sighs> no, calm down. Try and compose myself. We've seen scarier things than that tree in the mansion. Like some of their decorating choices. This whole experience has been weird. If I didn't want to stay and look for the other stars members, I'd jump over a fence and try to escape right now. But what's this? I can't possibly leave. I found a cabin. Look at it. It's got everything. Pumpkins, a roaring fire, and um... Nope. That's more or less it. Pumpkins and a fire. You can have cooked pumpkin every night for dinner. And look! A boot! 
Whose boot is this? Hope that's not Chris's boot. But never mind, because we are about to find a Resident Evil staple. We have found a crank. Nice. Alright, let's get out of here. And never come back. Uh-oh. Who was that? Hello? Ow! Barry? Barry? I'm afraid not. That was someone else. My God! Who is this? Ah! No! No, don't do that to me! Look at this person! She's scary! What do you want about? I'm going. Did you see that? A creepy lady. Wandering around in bare feet. And there's a perfectly good boot on the bed as well. Well, I suppose it was just a single boot. She can't go around wearing one boot. That looks silly. But she wasn't very nice. Look at that. She hit me once and I was on danger. It's a good thing I learned about herbs from the botany book. Now let's get out of here before she finds me again. Oh, I heard a zombie. Hello, zombie. I see you have no hair. Have you considered a toupee? Whoa, I'm getting the strangest feeling of deja vu. So there's monsters, not only in the mansion, but outside it as well. That's not good. We can't have those zombies wandering off into Raccoon City. Birds, be careful, there's monsters around here. Yeah, fly to safety. Just imagine if the zombies wandered into the city and spread the virus. And from there, it spread into a worldwide pandemic with countless zombies and monsters. Ugh, I hope not. It'd be a total hassle. I'd have to wear a face mask. Hello and welcome to Let's Play Resident Evil 10. Okay, I've got my crank now. Can we carry on with the game, please? Oh, thank goodness for that. I'm back in the real world. Ah, look, it's a floof. Hi, doggies. Ah, they're so cute. Right. So, we have to use our crank here. Ooh, and it reveals a secret bridge. Bit inconvenient. I mean, what if you're on the opposite side? Or maybe you didn't bring your crank? All Umbrella employees are issued with one crank. Because you never know when that might come in handy. Ah! Snakes! Raining tree snakes. At least they're regular size this time. Haha! <laughs> so long, suckers! Good thing they can't just drop down onto the lift. That'd be rubbish. It's okay, I'm safe. Safe with the dogs. You can't really trust the snakes, but you know where you are with a dog. They're so good. Oh, there's some more. And they're quite hungry. They haven't eaten for a couple of days. Aw, oh, what? Hey, you can't eat me. Well, okay, maybe just a bit. And we've made it. Here we are at the residence. A place where all the workers can stay. Not bad. You work for Umbrella, and you get your own room. But look at this. There's holes in the floor. Disgraceful. Okay, I suppose there's only one thing for it. We're going to have to cover up these holes. I don't know. I don't even live here, and I'm having to do DIY. Well, makeshift DIY. This isn't Jill's department. Jill's department is doing investigations and unlocking doors. Not fixing floors. I'm quite sure if Chris Redfield was here, he'd be pulling up the wood tiles and doing it all properly, but he's not. He's disappeared. So I suppose it's up to me to try and cover up one of these holes by using this giant garden statue. 
Last thing I want is to be running away from a monster and my foot go through the floor. Resident Evil 1 is too close to a B-movie. And you know how these things go. Oh no, my foot's got stuck. And that's when they all die. There we go, good as new. And Rebecca's arrived. Finally, she's got through. Hmm. And she's wasting no time with DIY. Time to explore the rooms. Oh my god, look, it's a giant spider. Hi, spider. You're quite big. Oh no, run away! That spider wants to eat me and put me in a web. Luckily, they're quite easy to dodge. Oh, there's another one. Hmm, it's broken. Okay, I suppose we can't play any games. A snooker table. Or a pool table, depending on your outlook of the universe. A nine ball, a six ball, a three ball. Huh. It looks like a clock dial. 345. Some kind of code? Maybe. I don't know. Who cares? Uh, Spider? What do you think? Look at this. Is this some kind of code? Spider says yes. But Spider quite clearly wanted to play a game. Oh, no statue. I'm sorry, spiders. I can't play snooker or pool. I don't know the rules. But I do recognize a code when I see one. 345. I wonder where we can use that. This door is locked. Ah. It's still locked. But wait. There's a panel with number keys. Will you push the keys? Yes! I want to do that more than anything in the world. And I think I know the code. 345. Although, to be honest, you can kind of bypass the snooker pool table and just figure it out. And the door has been unlocked. Yay! Nice. Jill and Rebecca are working as a team to get stuff done. I have to say, with this project, the idea of having all of my characters working together is something I wanted to do for a long time. And now, I've done it! I want to try and do a project where I can make my own sort of scenario where all the different characters solve different parts of the game and no character unlocks the same door twice. No character solves the same puzzles. No one picks up the same weapon. And I want to actually try and make it all make sense. Figure it all out. And of course, have fun making my own cutscenes and stuff. It will be a lot of work, but it'll be worth it. So I've been saving this idea, waiting, biding my time, waiting for the right elusive moment to unleash it upon the world. I want to do the newer games as well, but like I said, this is the game I grew up with. Along with Final Fantasy VII and Metal Gear Solid, this is one of those games I loved when I was a kid, so it's special to me. And honestly, it doesn't age badly for me. I could never get bored of this game, I love it so much. So this is like a passion project for me. Although, I did notice something. It's all right here in this book. This red book of all my thoughts and ideas. I did notice that one of my viewers and fellow LPers, BlindmanSG1, actually posted his own version of this game with a very similar idea. And he did it just before me. Typical. How dare he copy off my idea before I could do it. With all of his highbrow humor. Ah, well. He may have beat me to the basic idea, but I'm doing this all in my own particular way. With copious amounts of editing. And I'm glad people are enjoying it. Shotgun shells? I don't have a shotgun. Chris has the shotgun, but he disappeared. Mysteriously. Maybe he got kidnapped by a villain. <laughs> nah, that'd be silly. I'm sure he's fine. He's a member of Stars after all. Not that that's helped anyone else. Poor Forrest turned into a zombie. Not even his liquid snake hairstyle could save him. What's in here? Hmm, a giant room. Let's explore. My god! Look at that! It's a dormitory key, sitting right next to that massive bee's nest. I know, the bees, they're angry because I stole their key. I couldn't help it, it was shiny, okay? Don't sting me! Phew, this key says 002, but where's the door? There it is. And when we push this statue out of the way, we find more herbs. Which is basically a good thing, just in case there's something nasty here at the residence. Plants are our friends. The botany book had nothing but good things to say about them. And I'm glad to see there's loads of plants here at the residence. Yes, I will take this green herb. I'll take all the herbs. I did just slightly annoy a group of bees. I don't want to take any chances. Yunk! Right, let's go to room 002.
But it's not necessary for you to destroy stars. It's not my intention. It's a fruit. What about my family? I will guarantee their safety. So everything depends on me, huh? Hmm. What's going on? Let's use the dormitory key. I'm guessing there are multiple versions of the same key, because someone is locking doors behind them. Hi, Jill. Uh, hi, Barry. I, I heard someone talking. So you heard it too. I think I'm getting old. It seems that talking to myself is becoming a habit. Talking to yourself? Barry, something must have happened to you. Am I wrong? You sound strange. Well, it seems I made you worry. But don't. Maybe I have been a nervous wreck since all of these strange things started happening. Well, I think I'll go out and get some fresh air for a change. I told you, don't worry. I'll just go and get some fresh air and be eaten by a monster. Barry's starting to lose it. He's getting paranoid. So that's why he's locking doors behind himself. Plant 42 report. Blah 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 blah. Yeah, we know about plants. Plants are our friends. All these monsters Umbrella create. What are they gonna do? Let's create a giant plant monster that cures its victims to death. That'd be silly, but I've got a dormitory sketch. Nothing suspicious about these wardrobes. Ah! Zombies! Splat! Off goes your head. Splat! Off goes your head! That was brilliant! Everything's going well, and if we look in the sink, we find another dormitory key. Great! So, these two zombies were going to the toilet together. Nothing strange about that. But I think it's time to go. 